There are certain golf brands which are trying to change the face of golf forever. Vice being one of them. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video we have the Vice Pro Plus, but not just any Vice Pro Plus. Guys, we have the Vice Pro Plus Neon Green. We have waited so long to do this video, we've waited for daylight today where it's a little bit misty, a little bit overcast, and these should be perfect. Chris, what are your thoughts so far? Even I might be able to see them. Yeah, this is something which is quite interesting, guys. I think they're a limited edition Pro Neon, and they're actually an Adidas ball from a package I got a long, long time ago. But three-piece urethane should perform as well as a Pro V1. Stay tuned. Let's see what we can score around the opening holes here at Woolley Park Golf Club using the Vice Pro hey, Plus. Found a Marcel. Oh, we've got a Marcel seam on Get there. Get him on the screen. And it's in line with the actual alignment aid. Oh, it is, yeah. Which is perfect, guys. A little Marcel for you there. Stay tuned. What we're going to score in the comments and let us know. Right, Chris, I'll let you have the honours if you would like. Uh, we're both number much. four, so try not to hit it too close to each other. What have you got? Uh, what club? I've got a four iron. Try and get away safely. Amazing how vibrant that looks, isn't it? Hmm. Doesn't look bad either, actually. Prefer it to like a yellow or orange peril. Oh. How good is that? Silky smooth, that. Yep, certainly saw it bounce, and that's a rarity for me. Yeah, I can see it. In fact, I can see it from here. So, perfect day for these balls. Also, perfect to have the performance of potentially a Pro V1 or TP5, maybe. Right. I'm going to take more of a Tiger line, Chris. With your Forge Techs? Yep. Power Bats? That's a great shot. That is absolutely, that felt so good. That's perfect as well. Guys, I've even changed the colour of the shot tracer today to that luminous green. If that's not worth subscribing for, I don't know what is. Right, Chris, so Vice. This isn't the first time we've had Vice balls on Talking Balls. No. But I think it's amazing how certain companies are trying to make golf, A, more accessible, because the, if you do buy them in bulk, they are fairly cheap. Yeah. But also just change the face of golf. They're not just making plain white golf balls anymore. They even make those kind of spray paint ones, don't they? The, the matte finish. They do, and a lot of people have commented saying they do use them. So again, a better price point, like club manufacturers now, which some brands are getting premium clubs for a lot less to get people into the game so anything that can get more people playing golf I would say is a good thing really yeah, and good. performance wise they should perform as good as a Pro V1 potentially. Hopefully, perfect day today as well for them. Nice. I like how you've just uh, missed those bunkers, well judged that you could say. Perfect, I'm going to try and play a flighted one now, again three piece urethane cover, should be able to control this down there just inside 150 so I've got a little 8 iron Back of the stance, let's see if we can flight it. We can, but I've leaked it a little bit right. Oh, can I say how easy it is to see that in the air? Very easy, but that's in the bunker, so we'll test how durable Ooh. it is. 109, playing 101. So again, the big thing for me here is you do have the confidence of thinking, right, it is a three-piece ball, it has got a European cover, it should do everything I want it to do. I'm going to hit a 50 degree, it has just absolutely hammered it down here at Woolley Park, so the green should be nice and receptive. This is about the right number. Three definitely wins the hole, and four might do with him being in the bunker. I pulled that. Pulled that's it. annoying, because that's the right distance as well. Pulled it, pin eye. Well, I've seen three putts from there. I've seen four putts from there. That's a terrible <laughs> shot, isn't it? Through. At least it's not in the bunker. Right, let's see how durable this golf ball is short-sided let's see what we can see this do. going in oh duff and roll called it oh, oh. a delightful bunker great shot. effort it took you know, it grabbed well there mm. get your putter though son because that's not good oh it's gotta go go oh. on the door is and had the line there as well, just didn't quite hit it. Felt really soft off the putter face. I didn't expect it to feel that soft at all. Right. The line was good, so I think it's just outside right. I actually, you know what? I'm starting to really enjoy the colour of this. It is a nice colour. Good alignment though as well. 
I imagine on a, a bright day it wouldn't be as handy. Handy. Now, good alignment here. With the colour and it being black, it does uh, it's very easy to see your feedback. I can't believe you've got closer out of that bunk than I have from up there. How embarrassing. Oh, that's a Get good putt. That's a great putt. Pressure's on. Great putt. Big yourself up. I love the simplicity of that line as well. Really nice. Soft off the face then. I Very would say. soft, almost like a, a mini mini golf ball. Mm. Well, oh, good up door. and down that. Side door, but we'll take it. So Chris, you've just found them online, and what we're we saying about? I mean, look, at, we don't even have to cut it open. We will do it at the end, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm. I bet it doesn't look like that. No, I bet it doesn't either. And it's two pound sixty nine per golf ball. It obviously knows I lose a few, so it wants me to buy 60 for £161.40. I suppose that's not too bad though, is it? No, not bad at all, but yeah, again, you can buy in bulk in comparison Ooh, to maybe... Ooh, colour? Bottom left, I like that, look at that. Ice blue. Ooh. Same price, so no different pricing. Let's see what the white one is. Does the white one... Nope, all the same. Ooh, it's orange as well, that's just come oh, out of nowhere, they're that. all just appearing Out now. of nowhere! Um, I didn't think I'd like this ball, you know, but I'm really starting to uh, to enjoy it. You know, it annoys me as well that your phone battery says it's orange even though it's nearly full. Why would it do that? It's very random. I'm saving it. Saving me back. Yeah, I really didn't think I'd kind of take to this ball, but I have done, even though it's only in one hole. And when we tested the Vice Pro Plus, the standard one, we tested it against the Pro V1 for numbers, stacked up very well. The numbers were quite similar. It was a little bit less ball speed and a little bit higher spin, but all in all for the price, it was pretty good. Do you remember that, Chris, back in the day? I do again a good price point one of the better balls we have tried i mean it is up there regards to uh, performance compared to a pro v1 and that's really what we're trying to compare most golf balls to the best or the number one golf ball in the world in the world a little bit healy that one that's out to the right Oh, but clearly seen. Yeah, we can see that, no problem. In the rough. Not the best strike. Delightful. I think this should go in your bag. Just a great golf shot. Probably middle stripe. What a ball. Right, two very different tee shots there. I don't think I can really blame the ball. That was really necky, that one. I think it was you. I can see it, and that's the beauty about playing this neon green. Mm. I think, like I said earlier, on a bright day, I won't quite fancy it. But no. what I love about what these brands are doing is just trying to make it a little bit different. Like, I got these balls in a pack from Adidas a long time ago, and it was all about trying to move golf forward to a new audience. And I suppose if you're a, a young guy wanting to play golf, would you rather play with something luminous green? Would you rather play with something with spray paint on it? Or would you rather play with a traditional white ball? Yeah, well, if you're like me and got terrible eyesight, in the winter you might want something that you can like actually see. Like a mole. See. Yeah, like a, like a mole. I can I'm see it gonna, though. I'm not going to go with that. Right, I would think we have around 150 yards in here, guys. So I'm going to send in a little eight iron. Um, I'm very confident with how far these balls are going. I don't think I need to club up at all for it. That's a horrible little flag though. We'll try and get middle of the green and just two put again. He's definitely going to try and bite off more than he can chew. Let's just get it up there. Oh, that is a horrible strike, but that could work. Go on! No, that was a terrible Ooh. strike. We'll be able to test it for short game. That was the whole reason behind that horrible low strike. The good news is we've got a secret weapon coming up, haven't we, Laura? That next hole, what happened last time? I don't think it's going to happen again, James. Three foot year, that. I've had zero. Ever. <laughs> oh, that is so well struck. Yeah, Just don't be long. It's on the way through. Oh, spin, spin. Oh, we're using the bank, but it's going to go off the green. Yeah, it usually feeds off from there, but it might just be damp enough to hold on. Lovely Ooh. stride. It was for a slip. Guys, I'd like to say that I got unlucky there, but I probably got lucky, if anything. Nearly got up that bank. How much check can we get with the best club in the world, the lob wedge? Debatable. I am on the green at eight feet, James. Just to, yeah. Just to let you know. Let's 
a good shot. Bit of check, but it's rolling, rolling, rolling. See ya. Ooh, hold on. I didn't think it was that bad when I hit it. Lucky to stay on. Bit of a swinger here. Very lucky to stay on, you could say. Yeah, but we've got to give it a go. I think two puts gets me one up onto the par three. And it's only what's deserved after the masterclass I've put on today. It has been good from you today, actually. Almost like you've been practising. It's because the weather's cooled down. I'm not built for the warmth. <laughs> In two months, I'll be saying I'm not built for the cold oh. either. <laughs> I mean, what a roll on that. You could clearly see it was perfectly struck, perfectly red. And that's one up, my friend. I'm going to go a little eight iron. That's a similar flag location to... The, the most previous hole in one that we've had this year, the third one. The flag's not far the same, you're right Laura, I didn't want to say anything. I yeah. want to put him off. Scythed. You can see the ball well though. You can see, you can see it well, right side of the green, nowhere near the flag. No hole in one for me. I believe the door is ajar. It's not a one today. Not it's swinging very well today. That's going to have took a horrible bounce left as well. well I hope it? so. Now I fell on James. Yeah, you've caught uh, you've caught the green somehow. I've caught the green. Oh, there's meat left on that. But other than oh. other than pace did you find it came off really soft? It did come off very soft there, which is a. Uh, First real uh, long putt I've had, and it was a terrible one. Oh, it skipped forwards. Sit. Ooh, plenty left. I expected that to check, although it's very moist, isn't it? It is moist. It just skipped on that first bounce, but right edge. Just for the match. How would you like the flag? In, please. Oh, I shall remove myself. Calm yourself down. So another fantastic roll, which means what. another fantastic putt. Thank Somewhere here it was, Chris. That was that is up going into my channel for a bit of a you see it, Laura, anywhere? short game. What we're we looking for? The hole. Oh, we well, no one's bothered about that, James. Come on, get yourself over here. Let's see if we can get a good roll on it. Well, it's game over, isn't it, guys? Check out part two, where it's going to be a huge comeback over on Chris Dennis Golf. And apart from that, we'll see you all exactly the same time tomorrow. Don't be late. Bye.